suspicion and a lot of secrets. So I'm into that. Then there's Fort Narivar. Um, it makes Raven Rock uh, like a Dawn Guard castle and adds a player home update to and a bunch of, of things to Raven Rock. So I think that's okay. Then there's Enhanced Epic River Road. Um, enhanced, enhanced White Run. Epic Enhanced Towns. Just to dress them up a bit and make them slightly different. Uh, Dragon Bridge. Now Markarth Origin. This is supposed to come with a massive temple player home and a lot of redoing of Markarth. And we'll hopefully it will totally dress up Markarth because I really, out of all the towns of the game, that one is the most dark and depressing and the one where I feel like I'm going to be put in prison all the time while I play. So the ruins, uh, more uh, ruins all over the place, better ruins. Halted Stream Mine, uh, this will allow us to take over the mine and run it and get some money from there. Uh, here's a Dwemer Ruin, um, so we'll get to possess a Dwemer Ruin house. Uh, Canis Root Tree House is just a fun little tree house that we're gonna happen upon and it's in the rift and uh it should be in a nice little nice little stopover point rayx and is also an interesting house which has a lot of displays and i expect it to um, be fun to try out the eidolon sanctuary um, so we have some cool, uh, wood elf type stuff and, and, uh, we'll see what the sanctuary is like, um, and lots of exploration and we'll see what it's like. So here's the Sky Haven Temple interior and exterior gardens. And I expect this to be really cool. I haven't explored it that much, but um, the artwork is very beautiful and um, I'm looking forward to any temple themed home is okay by me and it's got a beautiful Japanese inspired garden so that's cool. It goes along with the Japanese theme very well with the clothes. So here's the Archmage Retreat and this is a place just under the Winterhold College Stairs and allows you to instantly have a way cooler student accommodation while you hang out around the College of Winterhold um, than you would normally get. And it's very wizard themed. Then there's Fleetford, which is a player home and a full surrounding settlement. And it's located on the road to Windhelm from Whiterun between dark shade and cradle crush so it kind of fills up some empty space and uh, offers us some new opportunities for interaction in a new town then the mystic order this is a cool wizard magic themed house and uh, i'm looking forward to trying it out and checking it out it's in a different dimension but it's not a consumable dimensional kind of staff or bag or anything you carry along. Um, anyway, I'm looking forward to checking it out. It's in a book on the bar in Riverwood Sleeping Giant Inn. So we should go there. Then there's Calvary Temple, more temple themed tome. And uh, it's a, a beautiful forgotten temple. And we'll check it out deep within the mountains. And apparently it's got lots of uh, interesting facilities and some cool uh, um, places to enjoy, uh, to stumble upon. 
So here, remember the old ways? This is um, like a lore friendly sh sh shrines and new blessings and worship to the game with the deities and then Raven Rock interiors. Um, this is going to improve Severin Manor um, and uh, create really nice Severin Manor on, sol on the Solstheim Island. Then there's Morvane. Uh, it's also improving it for um, the, the family of Morvane, apparently. Dunmer Settlements of Solstheim. This should improve the entire Raven Rock Village. And um, Become a Bard. This is one of my favorite mods ever. You get to purchase songs and instruments from the Bard's College. And then you fill out a journal every time you play and gradually you get more and more loot and gold and gifts from the audience and you can even use your perform uh, power in your speech to get more and then gradually the nobles invite you to perform for them and you can get even cooler stuff so that's pretty neat and then there's alternate start live another life um, and everybody knows about this mod. If you don't, uh, it allows you to pray to a Shrine of Mara as a prisoner and uh, select that life you would like to start off with in the game. I'm a very big pop uh, person for houses, but lately I've been allowing it to select which house I have randomly just for fun. Then there's the Guild City of Thieves. And this is going to help uh, redo Ripton, hopefully, and really make it um, far more uh, far more alternative, um, far more uh, kind of uh, interesting place to explore a different type of Riften, so I hope that it will um, really uh, improve the city of Riften. The Northern Star Retreat, it's a really beautiful home. I've had a little trouble keeping it going in my playthroughs and not getting kicked off, but we're going to give it a try anyway. And then there's the Gypsy Wagon, which I've also been really enjoying. Um, and it allows you to have kind of a temporary home base while you travel around. Neva's Keep is a nifty castle and a good location. We're going to explore that one. Then there's the Legacy of the Dragonborn, and I've been looking so forward to this one so much because it puts you in charge of a whole museum that you get to run as well as live in um, as a very convincing curator. So that's really neat. And then he had no more dead followers. That's pretty important because I don't want to hurt anybody in the game. Especially not if I'm growing attached to them. That, that would be terrible. So, um, let's see. We don't have that going on. And uh, then we have the Gotha Rinsey Armor. And it's kind of a Victorian steampunk. Japanese version of armor, Lolita fashion, and I'm very happy with it. It's very interesting, and I'm looking forward to crafting some and trying it out. But we'll stick it up here with our armor just in case, just so it's all together. All right, now the rest of this whole thing. Um, we have the Telmata, the Telfani home. Oh, that's one of my absolute favorites. It's a hearth fire, but it's completely in the Telvani style. Um, and I'm so pleased with its perks and its decoration. Last time I built it, though, I couldn't move my children there, and so I couldn't use it as my primary residence. And that was kind of sad. There's also Marriage Voice Types Plus, and this should help a lot 
with um, any uh, Argonian or Kajidi kind of courtship. Um, sometimes the more alternative uh, creatures in the game don't have a dialogue for flirting uh, in their uh, specific tribe, so that helps uh, those voices. So the clan of Hidden Valley and the Guild City of Thieves. We're definitely gonna try those out and see where we're at. All right, I think we've gotten all of our random ones all sorted and we're all ready for a playthrough. And I hope you've enjoyed the last hour hanging out with me. I sure have as well with you. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care everybody from Mystic Ashram. This is Megan Dharamkar signing off. I'll talk to you soon.